afgelopen week het ek en Martie gekyk na die uh, levensverhaal van C.S. Lewis die Griekse naam is The Most Reluctant Convert en is recht as die moeite werd om te kyk is nogal challenging mentally want die oud op een ander vlak gedink as baie van ons gewone is maar het is so goed gewees en hoe dit eindelijk so uit een semi-christelike huis uit so weggedreig het na totale atheus, na materialis wat eindelijk geloof alles is maar net, jy is een product van evolutie en van jy het nie beheer oor wie jy is en wat jy doen en wat sy besluit het jy recht te geneem nie, dit is alles vir jou voor uit bepaal en in gesprek met sy vriende het hy toe eerstens oortuig geraak van theisme, dan het hy eerst oortuig geraak dat is een god en heel wat later, eers het hy Jesus Christus as die verlossing en die redder aanvaard. Maar die verstommerde ding wat my getref het van sy getuin is, een paar dinge wat hom getref het, wat vir hom onhanteerbaar was. En die een daarvan was, hy sê, the thing that really draw me was the holiness of God. En ek denk, wow, that's a strange thing to say. But at one stage, his brother brought him a little garden which he made in a biscuit tin which was so beautiful with the plants and the pebbles and everything and just gave him that sense of something so precious and so beautiful and so desirable and he compares that to the holiness of God something that is otherworldly it's not from this world uh, exceeding in richness and in mercy and in greatness and infinite wisdom and uh, revelation, something that touches you at your deepest level and is desirable in such a wonderful, wonderful way that you want to have it. And he's also the guy, C.S. Lewis, who said, if I find within myself desires that cannot be satisfied or fulfilled in this world, then I have to conclude that I was made or created for another world. Mm. And I think that's profound, you know, there's a hunger, a deep thirst, uh, that sort of, you're aware of, and oftentimes you just sort of say, no, don't bother me now. <laughs> and I just want to refer to two scriptures in John chapter 4, where Jesus was with the woman at the well, and he was speaking about water, and uh, he said to her, if, you, if anyone drinks of this water from this well, you get thirsty again. But if he drinks from the water that I give him, he will never thirst again. And uh, she immediately jumped on to him and says, Yes, Lord, give me this water so I don't have to come here again. For the comfort of my life, I, I like this water. That's great. But he was speaking of, of, obviously, of something much, much deeper, which I think she sensed. And then John chapter 7 again. He speaks again on the great day of the feast. Jesus stood up and he said, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink of the living water. And this water will become in him a fountain of life that springs up unto eternity. Uh, the only qualification really is to be thirsty and number two is come. And I want to invite you this morning to the Lord's table say first of all to have a, a deep and a real desire for that absolute, unsurpassable glory and holiness, the wonderfulness of God, which we can't comprehend, is just above what we can understand. Uh, and then in the second place, to come and allow that this to be quenched, allow the hunger to be satisfied, allow the emptiness to be filled. Amen by trust and faith in the work, yes. the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. So uh, I invite you, and then I want to play a, a song as well, we might have just got it right. This song is Lord You're Holy. It's an, it's an old song, and it takes about three minutes to warm up, so just hang in there. But there comes a moment in the song where the greatness of God
Begriff brauchen, das Begriff und Verbund des Maxos in das ungesierte Brüder in Eckau davon. Nicht um die ungesierte Gewerin, aber das nie auch auf der Brüder. It's not the sourdough that's living in and that spoils everything. So this reminds you of the perfect offer and the holy offer of Jesus Christ. So let's use that and then uh, thank God for his body and his blood that is given for us. <laughs>